Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the EVT Dynamic Tremolo from Baltimore Sonic Research Institute. <laughs> The EVT is a tremolo pedal with two different modes. We have standard, traditional, volume, amplitude tremolo, and then we have a dynamic tremolo mode. And this pedal reminds me a lot of the Line 6 MM4. There was a dynamic trim mode on the MM4 that I absolutely love. The same style of effect is in this pedal. Before we get into the pedal, let's go over the signal chain. We have this Pure Salem Cardinal. It's got humbuckers in it. We're running a few different pedals and then we're going into the Boss Katana set pretty clean like this. Let's go ahead and jump into the pedal. We have five controls and two foot switches. Over here, the left foot switch is the on off foot switch. The right foot switch is to toggle between standard tremolo and dynamic tremolo. We have volume, which is our output volume. So if we turn the pedal on and we get a tremolo effect, sometimes the tremolo effect can kind of introduce a perceived lack of volume, like a loss of volume. So we can choose to boost it or you know we can tailor the output volume with the volume control that's a little bit quieter if we wanted to maybe boost our amp into a little bit more drive we can turn it up In standard mode, only the top controls work, and the middle control is depth, which is how low our volume cuts out if we want it to do the whole, the whole signal goes out from full volume to no volume, it's all the way up. And as we roll that depth down, the floor, so our lowest volume kind of rises up. And all the way at the bottom, it's not even doing a tremolo. Which actually sparks an idea. With the depth at minimum, we can use the volume to boost our signal. So we can turn the EVT into a boost pedal. And the rate, of course, is how fast the tremolo is moving. From very slow. All the way up to very fast. Now let's hop into the dynamic mode, which is very exciting because I love this sort of effect. The dynamic mode introduces a dynamic controlled tremolo, which means we control how fast the tremolo is with how hard we pick our note. I'm gonna go ahead and set the depth to maximum so we get the full effect so we can really hear what this is doing. I'm gonna set the rate to about 50%. We're gonna set the slope to minimum and we're gonna set the sensitivity to about 50% as well. And this is what I'm talking about. You'll hear as I strum the chord, you're gonna start out with a very fast tremolo and then over time it's gonna slow down a little bit. Let's go over what these sensitivity and slope controls are. Now the sensitivity is how, how sensitive it's going to be to your dynamics. If we turn it down, we're not going to get movement in the speed of the tremolo from our dynamics. <laughs> As we turn the sensitivity up, we're increasing the dynamic control of that speed.
you could kind of hear it right there. It kind of jumped up to the fast when we're really strumming it. And then from here, we can just make it more sensitive as we turn that sensitivity control up. Here's at about 60%. Once you get up past a certain threshold, it's taking a lot longer before the tremolo slows down because you're hitting that threshold quicker with your output volume. This is also very useful when using, using multiple instruments with different outputs. It really lets you tailor the pedal. It's pretty important in tailoring the pedal to your specific guitar. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the sensitivity to about 40% or so. I think that's about right. Now we're gonna go on to slope. Slope control is how much of a delay there is before the pedal starts ramping up your signal. In the minimum position, we're gonna get immediate ramp up to that top speed. But if we increase the slope all the way to maximum, we're going to get a little bit of a ramp into it. So it's not gonna start out immediately and go to the fastest speed, we're gonna get a, a slow, slower ramp into that top speed. And this also interacts with the rate control. We can set kind of the range of speed that we want by using the rate control. So if we want an overall slower tremolo, we can turn it down. Or if we want, you know, an overall faster speed, we can turn it up. Now we have my Agape Guitars Eve, which is a Tele style guitar. It's got single coils. And what I wanted to demonstrate was using that sensitivity control to tailor the pedal to a specific guitar. Overall, right now we have less output volume. So I wanna turn that volume control up. <laughs> And you can hear that we're, we're hitting that threshold, the, the maximum speed with the telly, but it's very quickly decreasing. So what I wanna do is I want to increase the sensitivity control so I can hit that threshold, but then stay there just a tiny bit longer. <laughs> Now let's do some fun stuff like decrease the depth a little bit so we're not gonna get that choppy tremolo. We're gonna get a little bit more subtle tremolo. Decrease the rate. For ultra magic, let's go ahead and kick on a reverb pedal which is the Ghost Ridge from Native Audio. Now I've got my Squire Classic by Precision Bass plugged into the signal chain, same amp, same settings. Here's a clean sound. Here is just the EVT.
that sounds really cool to my ears, but what I wanna try is turning on a drive pedal before the EVT with a low gain setting so it's not, it's not compressing the bass too much. I've got the Harby Noble Tone, which is like a Prince of Tone style pedal, set to an overdrive mode with a, a low gain setting, and this is how it sounds. First without. Now with. Hope you enjoyed this look at the EVT Dynamic Tremolo from Baltimore Sonic Research Institute. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help out. If you like gear demos, you wanna see more, I have tons here on the channel, so check the backlogs. If you're interested in purchasing the EVT or any sort of music gear, I do have affiliate links in the description box below this video. Those links are a great way to help support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It sends you straight to the website and it lets them know that I sent you. And then if you buy anything on those websites, I get a very small commission. Again, doesn't cost you anything extra, saves you time, and it's a great way to help support the channel. I will also leave a link to the Baltimore Sonic Research Institute, Baltimore Sonic Research Institute website down below. That is a mouthful. And then of course, I also have a Patreon page. I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters out there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Most of all, I hope you're taking care of yourself out there. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.